Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized. Last time we fought Faulkner in his gym. Uh, we waited out once, but you know, we got back off off the ground, dusted our, dusted off our pants, and just went back in. Uh, we also picked up this egg sent to us by Professor Elm. We have no idea what's going to be inside, and we also checked out the trade from the dude in the house in the bottom left. Uh, he wants, it says he wants a uh, Bell Sprout for an Onyx, but I think I randomized the trades. I'm not positive anymore, so it might it might not be that. Um, today, I'm thinking, if possible, let's go check out some new Pokemon that we can catch. Right now, we have uh, that's the one bag. Um, right now, we have 12, 13, 14 Pokeballs. 13 if you don't want to count the Master Ball, and I'm, I kind of want to go to one of my favorite areas in this game, uh, the Ruins of Alf, uh, mainly because I like solving the puzzles, and at some point if we ever catch an Arceus, I would just, you know, like to just have the area unlocked. Um, so we're going to come back to Route 32 in a second for, uh, you know, our battle there, but I want to go into the Ruins of Alf and get the first battle there because this is kind of a special place for me in Pokemon. Um, mainly for the reason, like, um, it's just, I don't know. It's just like one of the things I can remember like big from when I played Pokemon as a kid. Uh, in the original Silver, I remember I would sit forever and just, just, you know, try, I, I went in there because I know there's a key item that helps you to crypt these like puzzles and shit. But as a kid, I would spend a lot of time just doing these puzzles. Uh, there were nothing special about them. They were just like normal sliding puzzles. But after you completed them, you could encounter unknown. So this Pokemon, this is super, yeah. So this is a Kabuto. So I believe that goes there. And this. No, flip. This goes here, this goes here, and no, no. This goes here, and this goes. I don't know why they're not flipping. And boom. First set of Kabuto, or not Kabuto, quote unquote unknown unlocked. Um, did you just come down from those to solve the stone puzzle? That's wonderful. You seem to have a talent with archaeology. I'll give you this unknown report. See, that's what I was looking for. Uh, the records of the unknown when you capture them will surely come in handy. See, I doubt we're going to find many unknown. But, you know, I, it might be nice to get it. So, let's see. First battle in Ruins of Alf is fitting. It's a Kabuto, and we just solved the puzzle for... Oh, okay. Uh, or not Kabuto, it's Kabudops, what the fuck? We solved the puzzle for Kabuto, and we got a Kabudops in return. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to get this boy, I don't know... Oof. Okay, I'm confused, because definitely when we were fighting the dude in, um, Bellsprout Tower, Vine Whip wasn't super effective against that. But now we got those sleep packs, and you know what? Um, it might not be a vote, but I'm gonna try again. As much as I would love a Luxray, I'm gonna try and get another Kudops. So I'll meet you back in a zone, I guess, whenever this Kudop wants to show back up. Okay, we're back. And sad day. Um, so it seems like our luck was really good with our first encounter, because it seems like Kabutops was the rare Pokemon for this area. Um, I've been trying for like a good five minutes now, and I've gotten like 20 Pokemon encounters. I've seen Exploud, I've seen Driflum, I've seen Typhlusion, I've seen, uh, what is it, Walrin? The second evolution of Sfeel. And... It's just not popping up. Uh, I also saw Girafferig. We're gonna try one more time. If it's not it, I'm giving up. Uh, we'll just go solve the other puzzle because, you know, I just wanna go solve the puzzles. 
it's not important, but whatever. Even though I think that's a bad idea because it will add more Pokemon to this pool. Because I think each different unknown counts as a different, like, encounter. Um, but I do know that if you solve all the puzzles, you will unlock, like, special Pokemon. Um, actually, it seems like at the moment that's the only puzzle we had access to, so... Um... Let's not worry about it. So, if you want, you can- Oh fuck, we need Rock Smash. If you want, leave a comment down below. If you would like to see us try to recatch Kabutops. If not, maybe you want us to try to catch another one of the Pokemon that were in there. Maybe a Typhlosion, something, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to be too strict. Actually, yeah, I am. It's got to be Kabutops. If you want me to go back and catch Kabutops, let me know. But for right now, Let's see what we get in this patch of grass. Alakazam! Okay. Um, let's see if we can hit him with that sleep powder. He might knock us out since he's a psychic type. Um, it's cool. Alright, so we got him with that sleep right now. So we're going to switch out to Veneery and maybe chip him down. I never used an Alakazam on my teams in any Pokemon game, so this could be cool. We're gonna keep it at that. So bang, let's go with a Pokeball. Fuck. <laughs> uh, let's try again. I'm going to give this like three tries. One, two, three. And we got him, boys. Alright, so our fourth teammate is in Alakazam. Um, you know what? Mm, it's going to be a stupid name. But it's going to be a name nonetheless. So let's call you Mind Freak. Some of y'all will get that reference, some of y'all won't. I barely get it. But you know, since you know he's a psychic type or whatever, he's using magic or some shit, you know, that, that seems fitting for me. And now if I th believe we can't go to the left yet because there's a pseudo wudo blocking the way. So instead, well actually I think there's a TM over there we can grab. So I'm going to go over there see if there's a TM we can grab. And if not, we're going to continue our way down Route 32 and make our way down to... Uh, is it a Zillion? No. Damn, I love this region, but I cannot remember the names for shit. Though luckily, we have a map. So, as you can see, right now we're going to be making our way down Route 32. I think there's a cave in the way, and we're going to be making our way to Azalea Town. Where we will meet her, the Pokeball Maker, and maybe have him make some goodies for us. If they didn't randomize that. Okay, so we got HMO6. Alright, so I was right. We have Rock Smash now. So let's go and teach that to one of our boys if we can. Um, I think Bellsprout might be able to. Nah, Bugs though. That's fitting. Ooh. And we just learned that Mind Freak is holding an item. So let's get rid of Defense Curl. Or Foresight. I will use you to get it. Yeah, let's keep that for now. Let's get rid of Defense Curl. And now we can go grab the item of the Runes of Alpha. But first. Yo, what do you. Ooh, luck is. It? Yo, we need that. Take. Let's throw that on you. Uh, if I am correct. Luck Incense will double our money, which may help. Um, and I'm going to help my Pokemon doubles prize money if a Pokemon holds. Yep, alright. So, Metalhead right now is over here rocking this double money. I don't know, I keep, alright, so this is like the third time I've opened the Pokedex on accident. Let's switch with you. Now, we're mainly going to be using... Metalhead, because I want to get a Beldum before this, or not a Beldum, a Matang before the second gym. Um, oh man, do you have anything for us? Ruins of Elf? Nope. Alright, so let's go use Rock Smash. Oop, dang. Okay. 
And we got a Heat Rock. Um, if I remember correctly, that makes Pokemon defrost faster when they're frozen. Though, freeze is like a 5% chance of even happening, so I doubt that will come in handy. Um, I think that's all we can do here for now, so let's continue down our adventure on Route 32. And here we go. Give me those trainer battles. What's up? What's the hurry? The hurry is, I want to... You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from training your Pokemon Violent City. Which is helpful. Souvenir Violent City. Take this. Just increase the power of your grass type moves. And we're going to give that to Weirdo. Oh, so we need to check out the moves on Mind Freak. Um, he knows teleports. That's that could save us some time. Um, luckily, he knows confusion, so that's good. So let's continue. Well, it seems like Alakazam is the common Pokemon of this route. That's cool. Um, so luckily, I, I don't think all of them would have confusion, so I think we got lucky in that regard. Um, I haven't seen you around before. You think you're pretty tough? I know I'm pretty tough. I beat Faulkner in my second try. As many people just beat him on their first try. Okay, Drifflum. Oof. You know... Actually, oh wait, duh. Um, I don't know if Mind Freak can hold up to a Ghost-type attack just yet, but it'd be nice to try since he has confusion. Um, minimize. I don't think that's going to affect us too much. So let's hit him with that confusion. Yeah, wait. Alright, so I think it's just something with Gen 4 games. Because I know for a fact when we were fighting the old man in Bellsprout Tower, we used fucking Vine Whip on his. Uh, his. Kabudops. Sorry, um, as you will learn, I have many a brain fart. Um, but yeah, his Kabudops, we hit it with Vine Whip like two, three times, and it was not super effective. Yet that one in the wild basically went down in one hit. Um, we need to heal. So, I, I know there's something going on with super effective moves. Because Drifflum is ghost flying, and Confusion should definitely hurt this boy. Does it not have Aftermath? It looks like we lucked out and that Drifflum's ability wasn't Aftermath. Though, Mind Freak got that experience though. And now that we're getting that Wigglytuff, let's go into Mind Freak. Because I think they give a good chunk of experience. So let's see what take down, boy. Metalhead's probably not going to get a ton of experience this route to level up. Which I don't think it matters either way because there's a story event that goes down in the Zaley Town, which might be enough. Oh, never mind. Alright, level 15. So five more to go. And I think Alakazam will evolve around level 36 if the randomizer was. Alright, spooky plate. Alright, so we're getting these fucking. Arceus items, but I doubt that we're going to be getting an Arceus anytime soon. And Dusclops. There's a lot of Ghost and Psychic types on this route, it seems. Oh, so let's go with Mind Freak again. Oops. Alright, any confusion? Okay, is, is it me or is. Was Psychic not super effective against Ghost this generation? I know I didn't randomize the types. And we gotta switch out now. Oh, well, I know. Rito can hurt him. 
And I, I know this isn't just an emulator problem either, because I've had this problem in uh, actual copies of the game. But I need to find my actual copy of this game. Alright, so if that tip that was on, that showed up earlier is anything like true, we should probably turn off the running shoes because I don't want to keep in, uh, encountering random Pokemon every five steps in the grass. And you are going to use b -Bear. Okay. It's a Gen 4 game. It's only right that we encounter something related to Bidoof this early on. Ooh, all that damage. So... The next gym type is going to be, I think, Bug? Yeah, it's going to be Bug, and generally there's going to be Bugsy. No, I can have my phone number. Um, also, there's something I need to check, because earlier on I fucking decided on rules, and I need to make sure I'm abiding by them. Um, okay. I wanted to make sure that Beldum's my, uh, primary typing wasn't psychic because as I stated earlier I'm gonna to try to keep everyone's primary types different. Um, these are a bunch of fishermen. Uh, I think one of us one of them gives us the good rod. Um, but from oh yeah, walking in grass. Let's let's try to keep it that. Um, I think I'm gonna keep going until I get your Pokemon Center before I go trying to fight those guys. Um, let's see. Glance intriguing. Um, as you, as you guessed by now, the episodes are going to run in pretty long, and I'm going to try to make them like 20 minutes each, uh, mainly just so we get some good stuff done every time we have an episode. So this one may not have the most content, um, there's still something that happens. We got a new teammate. Um, And made it to a new area. Uh, the next episode will probably just be us getting through the cave. And then after that, we'll probably be finishing up everything in the Zalia town. So it's probably gonna be like one episode dedicated to like one or two routes and maybe a town. I don't know. I remember this game being a lot faster, but what are you, what's she gonna do? Well, still got an encounter. Uh, and you are Dust Pops. Okay. So let's let's just run from this. And we got Charcoal. Oh, too bad I don't got a Fire type. We would have if we picked up Chimchar. <laughs> Ooh, Soul Rock. That's something new. Uh, yeah, you know, let's just fight it because I, re I just want to run away from any ghost type Pokemon because I don't want to keep switching out every time one pops up. Ooh, so rocketing us with a hardened though. Oh no. What are we gonna do? <sighs> We're running out of fucking takedowns. We need to. Well, we need to take him down. I think because how slow the series is taken, I might have to make it three episodes a week. So I think I'll... Comet Punch! Alright. I'm pretty sure that has, uh... What is it called? Um... Some tip of my tongue. Priority. That's what, that's what it's called. Priority. When a move goes first at all times. Uh, I wanted to try to avoid this dude. Uh, I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. And 
say some, but you only mean one. That's a that's a scary dude. What's up with everyone having like these fully evolved Pokemon? Uh, yep. Okay, looks like we're switching out to Beldum. Not Beldum. What the what weirdo? I keep wanting to say Beldum because of Bell Sprout. Alright, so let's hit him with that sleep powder. We could really use a fire type right now. Whatever this egg is, I really hope it's something good. It's not going to do much, but I just realized that we taught someone Rock Smash, and that should be super effective against Agron. So, bugs, make your way into the spotlight. Get in and get out there. Oof, I forgot he's smashing that hard in. Oh, if only had something that could lower that. Ooh, and yeah. Man, it's still oh there we go rock smash lowers defense I forgot sometimes or every time I don't know I don't use rock smash in battle anymore I don't think I've done that since like the first playthrough of Ruby and Sapphire since I made uh swamp at my HM slave Ooh, bugs is getting that bread Zoe. At least now with that lucky instance, we're getting some good cash. And I think... Yeah, there should be Pokeball right here. No? Yeah, I know. There should be something right here, I thought at least. Oh well. We made it to the Pokemon Center, and that's all that matters. And at the end of this episode, this egg has made no progress. I'm pretty sure this egg takes longer to hatch than others. So let's heal and end up this episode. Alright, so I know a lot didn't happen, but between episodes, I will go back and I will fight those, uh... Fishermen, yes, those are, those are those things. And I'll record it just in case anything funny or whatever happens. But I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I know a lot didn't go on. But, 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 I was saying a lot of but. But if you do like this, hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Comment down below again what Pokemon you would like to see me go back for. And, um,. All that jazz. Maybe a nickname, something, I don't know. Damn, I swore there was something back here. So, until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day slash night whenever you watch this. And, bye bye